Welcome to another microbit tutorial. Today we're going to make code.microbit.org and we'll learn how to create a game of hot potato with the microbit. So if you'll scroll down to the game section, uh, you'll find hot potato over here on the side. We'll click on that and we'll go ahead and do the blocks tutorial. So this game uh, starts with a random number between 5 and 15 and it starts counting down and when the timer goes to zero then it'll be a game over. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and add an event for when a the button A is pressed and we can get rid of this on start because we're not going to be using that for this tutorial. Okay, next step we need to make a timer variable. So if we go to variables here we can say make a variable. We're going to name it timer and hit OK. And then we're going to set it to a random value. So we're going to go set timer, put it in here, to a random value between 5 and 15. So if we go to math, we can say pick random and set it in here. And 5 to 15. Okay, next step, we're going to go ahead and add code to show that the game has started. So if we go to basic here, we're going to say show icon and um, you can really pick whatever you want to start out with. Um, so this will be the starting icon here, but it could be anything else you want. Next we'll need to put in a loop to repeat code. So while the game is being played, as long as it's still in play, uh, then the timer is going to start uh, going down. So we're going to say while and then the timer is positive. So if we go to logic and grab this one here and we'll say go to variables. So while timer is greater than zero then we want the we want it to start counting down. So we're going to add a way to decrease this. So we'll say change timer by negative one. So while timer is greater than zero, we're going to change the timer by negative one. And then we need it to wait for a second so that it only goes down one every second, not just super quickly. So Let's go ahead and have it wait. So let's see if it's on the next one. So let's go to here on basic. We'll click on pause and we'll have a pause. And this is for how many milliseconds? Um, there's a thousand milliseconds in a second. So if we just choose one second, it'll show up as 1000. So how this is going to work is once you press A, the timer is going to start. It's going to pick a number between 5 and 15. It's going to show this start screen. And then as long as the timer is greater than 0, it's going to change the timer by 1. And then it's going to count for a second. And then it's going to go down by 1 every second until it reaches 0. Once it reaches 0, we want to show some more code showing that it's um, over. So if we click on this, we want to show an icon. So once all this is done, we're going to show that the game is over. So in the tutorial, it has um, this sh showing up that, it, that the game's over. And I've noticed it's kind of hard to tell once the game's over if you're throwing the potato or the micro bit around. Um, so what you'll want to do is I would put a loop in here and we will go ahead and alternate the icon. So we'll alternate between... Um, this icon and we'll go one more. Let's go between that and there's an X that I want to use. So there we go. And one last step we need to do is just make sure that this is changed to true. So it defaults to false so just make sure you've got while true and then it'll just switch back and forth between the skull and the X. So let's go ahead and play this. So I'm going to hit play over here and to start out we're going to go ahead and click on the A button 
and it'll start with a start screen and sometime between 5 and 15 seconds depending on whatever random number it picks it'll count down that many seconds and then it goes to the skull and the X just like that.